Hey everyone, Justin here. When managing a startup, it's easy to get lost in the daily tasks. Luckily, Monday.com can help you make your goals and tasks transparent. Let's start from scratch. We need to keep up with hiring as a startup. Let's customize our HR board. We need to understand how our tasks fit into the big picture. We can start with creating groups. Let's edit them to reflect quarterly goals, this week, next week, and backlog. The cool part is we can start planning on our high and low level task. The quarterly goals group lets us communicate where we are at with our projects. The rest of the groups represents tasks related to the projects. It lets us know when to work on it as a team. Next, we can use the people column to see who is in charge. We can assign one or more team members or leads here. Let's update the status columns. Now we can see what is being worked on or not. Never worry about missing any of our deadlines. We can add deadlines in the date column. Also, we may visualize the date column based on the status labels. Just set it to deadline mode. Click on the date column settings. Click on deadline mode. Select the associated status column and hit connect columns. Now we may see upcoming and overdue tasks at a glance. We can see how easy it is to customize a high and low level workflow for multiple teams. We have the same board structure for our marketing and fundraising teams here. You might be asking, why is having a consistent board structure important? It will help your team not silo their work and have multiple boards for a project. This way, all teams see what our priorities are and what tasks are relating to them all in one place. This is a great start, but what if we need to see across all these teams workflow at a glance? Let's create a dashboard. We can rename it to Startup Dashboard. First, we want to quickly visualize where we are at with our quarterly goals. The battery widget is perfect for this. Click on Add Widget, select Battery. In our case, we can select the specific team board. Let's name it. Next, select the status column. Last, we will select the quarterly goals group, then click Done. We're going to rinse and repeat these steps for our marketing and HR boards. Now we can quickly communicate where we are at as a startup on the core parts across all teams. Next, we want to drill down on the specific goals across teams. Click on Add Widget. Click on More. Welcome to the Dashboard Center. It's our one-stop shop for all widgets, so we can customize our dashboard the way we like it. Let's add the table widget to our dashboard. We can select the three boards we need to view. Oh, and don't forget to name this board Cross Team Quarterly Goals. From there, we can select just the quarterly goals group across all boards. More than likely, our team leads will be in charge of these goals. We can hover on the upper right side of the table to see more settings. Click on the filter option, this is where we can filter it down by a specific team lead. Don't forget, we can also use this board to review updates for each goal. Click on the item update section. Here is where we can review our weekly updates. Think about how productive our meetings will be. Now that we have an understanding of where we are at with our goals, how do we manage all the tasks related to them? Knowing what the tasks are and when they are due is the key here. Let's click add widget, click on more, click on my week, this is a place to stay on top of all our team tasks. We may choose the team members we want to follow. Under more settings, we can select only deadlines. This will pull items across all boards with our deadline mode. We may also click on show column titles for more column details. From here, we can see all our deadlines. We can even view the task by clicking on it. It will pull up the card view. This is where we can quickly update the status column. And we're done. Now we can quickly use dashboards to view our quarterly goals. We can also see the tasks and deadlines related to them. Now you can start creating structure for your teams to work in. If you want to learn more about getting started with Monday.com, click on the link.